guys, Cody with Evolution. Now I know on the Tuesday show I said that that was the last time we'd be in the kitchen until we were cooking some nice meals on the cheap. Uh, unfortunately it started raining, some magic and science combined and everything. Anyway, here we are one more time. I promise on the Saturday show though, we will be back at the gym. Now today I want to cover the three things that I feel like CrossFit and other related programs do that are very positive and that we can all take some really good insights from in the health and fitness community. Number one, they create a positive emotional support system in their program. It's actually a part of their boxes. I've never seen a CrossFit coach or a CrossFit trainee. I've never seen a, an employee from CrossFit HQ who is not very positive and very supportive of everybody in the program, no matter how long they had been in it. That's actually strangely rare in the health and fitness community and in the physique modification community because as a trainer, a lot of what you have to do is be very tough and very stern, and it's easy to push that onto every other aspect of the training and the coaching. Thankfully, they take a stepped back approach, so they make everything very positive, very inviting, and create a, a supportive family-like network that makes you excited and happy to work out in a, in, a, in a time and in a place and a position where you're actually under a lot of stress because we all know it's very hard to change your eating, to change your outside activity, and to change your life so your schedule allows for a workout to actually happen. So that, that, that's really cool. I think we should all learn something from that. Number two, they focus a lot on introducing you to new and different training protocols and parameters. Now, looking at things like Olympic lifting, not a lot of people will see that, but those are really, really cool, and they're very helpful for pretty much anything you're doing, especially the power versions of Olympic lifts. Things like the power clean versus the full clean, stuff like that. And if you, if you know what the differences are in that, that's great. If not, the short answer is that power versions are usually shorter ranges of motion, which in the case of the Olympic lift doesn't actually make it all that much easier. But you'll also see things like gymnast rings, uh, strongman implements, different kinds of grip training, different types of body weight training, things that I would really like to see make a resurgence across pretty much every style of training. They've really cornered the market on introducing those, and they've even got some pretty cool ways that they coach and teach on that. Now, to me, number three is very cool. They make their training and their nutrition an integral aspect of each other, meaning that your nutrition is based on how you're training. Your training is going to be based on how you're eating. Now, I and a lot of trainers have been to the uh, fitness business seminars, to the personal training boot camps, and that kind of thing, where we learn new and different ways to be trainers. And I have had the glass-eyed, bro, are you paleo thing. Every, every once in a while, while the person was eating a paleo cookie and drinking a paleo beer, that is a 100% true story. There was no hyperbole there. And some of my trainer friends know exactly how that ended. I'm not going to get into it here because I'm pretty sure that may or may not be a felony. But anyway, it's really cool to see a program that started doing this even before mine. Now, you guys know, or my clients know at least, that the EVO, the EVO formula, is based on an interaction between how you're eating and how you're working out and how you're living your outside activity. And notice I said living and not doing. That's a very important distinction there. But anyway... Seeing a program do that is very, very heartening to me because that shows me that people are looking at this in a holistic way. They're not separating everything down into, okay, we can eat in this way and we have to train in this way, but we don't want to look at one when we're doing the other. So seeing a scientific approach to training and nutrition as an aggregate system is very, very cool. Guys, I'm going to stop the video here. I appreciate you putting up with the, uh, the shaky cam work. I promise on Saturday I will use a tripod like a professional. We'll see you on Saturday when we cover the three things I feel like CrossFit and related programs should probably stop doing. Thanks, guys, and we'll talk to you on Saturday.